Hoisting has, has been really cool to see as schools using it. I've had hundreds of colleges, universities, they're using this yearly now in their curriculum. A lot of professors have told me they like about it is that they can teach mechanical design, assembly, additive manufacturing with 3D printing, some of the 3D printed parts that are for the robot, as well as electrical wiring, and then all the programming, you know, all the, the software is all open source, so that gives them an opportunity. So it's kind of an all-in-one package. They can teach all these things with it. A ton of schools using it. There's the NNU project where the students, you know, I've donated some stuff to, to NNU and they're um, actually gonna build a reduced size AR robot I think they're going to call it the AR 2.5, but they're building a reduced size robot to fit in the payload for a project that's going into outer space. They're actually going to send a version of the robot up into outer space to do a uh, experiment where they pass a ball back and forth in zero gravity, which I thought was really interesting. Hi, my name is Dr. Dan Lawrence. I'm a professor of physics and engineering here at Northwest Nazarene University. I've been doing NASA projects sponsored by the Idaho Space Grant Consortium for about 15 years and had this crazy idea a couple of years ago of um, during one of our rocket flights where we get about 20 minutes of microgravity to have a robot play catch with itself in a space environment. So I presented that to some of my students and they've just taken off and run with it. I'm Nathan Appleby. I'm studying both engineering and physics here at Northwest Nazarene University. Our project is incorporating a lot of ideas that we have been able to learn from the AR3 provided to us by Chris Annan. It has allowed us to take inspiration on how to develop a robotic arm as we strive in our project to create one that is um, smaller and more compact, as well as it has allowed us to test out our software without a fully functioning mechanical system ourselves. It allows us to do some of our object detection and control systems that we're using ROS with to be able to control and really refine some of our software systems in conjunction while we are refining our mechanical systems that are inspired by the AR3. My name is Jonathan Herberger and I am a junior mechanical engineering and physics student here at Northwest Nazarene University. So this year, um, our space project is to develop a robotic system capable of passing a ball while in microgravity. And so in order to do that, we need to be able to adapt to the vari any variability we have in the system. And so we're gonna be using artificial intelligence in order to do that. I'm Aaron Borger. I am double majoring in computer science and computer engineering here at Northwest Nazarene University. And our project this year is involving the Air 3 and a miniature version of it. And our hope is to throw and catch a ball in space using artificial intelligence that will learn while it's in space how to throw and catch the ball. We have an AR robotic arm uh, that's been donated by Chris that we've really helped uh, us with our prototyping and have tried to miniaturize it to fit in this microgravity, really small environment that we have. This is a simulation of the AR3 learning how to catch a ball in zero G in simulation. And so the AR3 catches it and then learns and then attempts to catch it again. So this simulation shows how our robotic arms will actually perform in space. So we'll have multiple balls over here. And so they'll reach back and grab the ball and then they'll attempt to throw and catch it. And then after each attempt, they will learn what they did wrong so that they can perform better the next time. And then eventually, like you'll see here, they'll actually get it right and we'll catch the ball. And so hopefully while we're just catching a ball here, eventually we'll be able to catch tools or maybe components that will help manufacture and repair spacecraft in orbit. And now for our mechanical system, we have used Anon Robotics AR3 as an example of how to develop and design a robotic apparatus capable of performing numerous tasks. And so it needs to be in a much smaller profile. We have used the AR3 as an example of how we're going to use a similar system when it goes and launches in space. We hope this project will be able to have numerous impacts in both space and here on Earth to help with artificial intelligence in manufacturing, maintenance, and repairs. And so as we continue to develop this payload over the next several years, this first iteration to be launched in August, we hope that we'll be able to 
provide the industry with some more knowledge on how to use artificial intelligence robotics in space. We hope to gain from this is a start of an AI that can recognize an object in space, can reach out and grab it. And we think that's going to be um, a great uh, start on just exploring space. As we go out and explore more and more uh, outside of Earth, a lot of that's done by robotics and we can't always be there, or guide them on their own. So we need AI controlled uh, robots that can make decisions on their own and, and change things on the fly. So we hope that this research will help forward that.